Have you shut the door? <laughs> Hello everybody, today I am going to be doing a core pop haul. Over the last few months I have been turning a little bit green with envy, seeing Colourpop everywhere, in people's makeup looks, in people's makeup hauls, in people's makeup collections, it is everywhere and it's frustrating living in the UK because Colourpop just don't ship here, you can't get it, there's no Colourpop stockists here, it's very difficult to get hold of. One way you can get hold of Colourpop in the UK is by using a third party shipping company. Basically the items are shipped from Colourpop to them, they then ship them onto the UK but this can result in customs charges being added and then one item that you thought was affordable then it turns out to be less affordable because you've been hit with lots of different charges along the way. Alternatively, in the UK you can use third party websites which are reselling products that they have purchased through Colourpop. This can be difficult because you don't know whether you're getting genuine Colourpop products and you also don't know whether you are going to be receiving the products once you've parted with your money. I came to terms with the fact that Colourpop wasn't something that was going to brave my collection until it was stocked here in the UK. That was until I was introduced to a website called Rose's Beauty Store. I was introduced to this website by Devon over on Baked Beauty here on YouTube. She had used this website herself to purchase Colourpop items and that made me really excited to try it out. I just received my order and I am so thrilled with it, there were no extra charges added, there were no custom fees to worry about and I got my order super quick. Rosie's Beauty Store sells lots of different brands that you can get hold of here in the UK but I just went for Colourpop because I am just so excited to be able to finally get my hands on some. I picked up a few different things. The first thing I picked up was the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in Monster. So this is like a blush type product. I will be using this as a highlight because it's such a beautiful kind of holographic colour, I just love it, it's so pigmented, it feels so creamy, even though it's a powder, it's just a really great quality product and I am in love with it and again like I said this will be perfect for highlighting and I'm really excited to use it especially over spring and summer. Next I picked up lip liners because I'm a little bit obsessed with lip liners at the minute, I've been using them a lot because I've been trying to swatch different liquid lipsticks and I am just loving them so the chance to get hold of some Colourpop lip liners was very exciting to me. I picked up two, I picked up Polite Society and this is a pinky toned colour and this is just beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous and the product is really creamy and smooth and easy to use and I just love it. I also picked up the colour Razor which is like a pinky nude colour. So again, a beautiful colour. These are real safe colours for me. These are colours that I would wear all the time but yeah, love it and again, really creamy and beautiful packaging. Next for the really exciting part, I picked up five of the Ultra Matte Lip Colours. I played it safe with the colours that I chose because when you're picking colours from a computer screen and you're not able to see the colours in the flesh, it can be a little bit daunting and Colourpop do some really amazing, bold, beautiful colours but I'm not really sure if they'll go with my complexion, I'm not really sure if they're me so I just wanted to try out the colours to start with so I decided to play it very safe with colours I know I was going to love. The first colour I picked up was Platform and this is a gorgeous peachy nude colour. This is just going to be great for that time when you just want to wear kind of a nude colour. Maybe if you've got a bold eye going on this is going to be brilliant and I just think this you can never go wrong having a good nude colour in your collection. Not too dissimilar to Platform I picked up Vice which is another nude colour. This is a little bit more pinky undertoned. Again, a beautiful colour and just a real safe choice if you are wanting to wear a lovely neutral lip colour. Next I picked up Solo which is more of a pinky toned colour. This is a little bit more of a deepy nude pink and just another beautiful colour that is really me. 
The next colour that took my fancy was First Base, which is a beautiful pink colour. This is going to be my go-to colour for spring and summer. I just love pink. I think it's a beautiful colour and I think that you can have real dainty makeup with a pink lip and it just looks stunning. So this one is a definite me colour. And the bravest of all the colours I picked up was Seesaw. It is a pinky purpley toned colour. It's more on the purple shade, which is not a colour I tend to wear very often, but it is beautiful and it really caught my eye. So absolutely another spring summer colour for sure. I'm really impressed with the Colourpop products that I received. They were definitely worth spending that little bit more to have them before they are stocked here in the UK. I think they're really pigmented and beautiful and I'm so excited to be wearing these more and to try and incorporate them in some makeup looks in the future for my videos here on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and I will see you next week for another video. Take care guys, bye.